Douglas Plus at it again. Here we go. So I just kind of want to show you what we're going on right here. Um, we're putting a cassette in this master suite here. Um, and basically what we did is I cut out a little hole. This was interesting. So when I cut that out into the soffit, there's actually an, a rise of the brick. It goes up about 10 inches. And inside there was a two by four block. So we notched the two by four out from the inside of the attic, which was not fun. It was uh, very difficult to crawl back in there. So keep in mind when you're doing that stuff in the tight, tight corners like that, make sure that you bring a piece of plywood or a couple of two by fours with you so that you can screw them down or, or put them in place so that you can rest inside the joist bay. Cause these joist bays are about 20 inches apart and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So what we did is I glued the PVC pipe. I like to run hard pipe all the way. You know, guys use vinyl and all that. I mean, that's fine. You know, whatever whatever you feel like is appropriate for you. However, I always like to go to the extreme and we like to do things um, heavy duty. You know, um, the reason why I like that is PVC pipe is very durable. If you ever needed to blow it out, it's not gonna kink. Um, you know, you're using PVC glue, it's gonna be in there and it's gonna be permanent. So basically what I'm doing right now is I put two little pre-holes in this. I don't like putting them in that like one part right there, but I like going two down and then a little bit down and then, you know, and so forth about every couple of feet and put them in. Um, they do make these pre-manufactured knockouts, but I notice they're kind of big sometimes for screws. So what we do is we actually make our own in the flat part there. Um, and then we actually use fender washers to pinch it down. So that's what um, my son's going to grab right now, Logan. He's bringing them to me uh, as we speak. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put the back piece in for this, and then we're gonna um, set and install the wall bracket. We're gonna use a wall bracket. It's right there for this install. And then uh, once that's all done, we're, we're gonna be basically uh, running the electrical through there. We're gonna run the power feed through there as well, but we'll be doing that tomorrow. Today's just basically getting all this stuff prepped. Did you find the fender washer, Logan? Pull them out real quick, just show them what a fender washer is. You know, I like to try to stay as organized as possible. So it's right there, yeah, just grab some of them. So that's basically what we like to use. I like to use these because it pinches and grabs the PVC of this line set height a little bit better than, than you know, just a screw head. So say hi, Logan. Hello. This is my son, Logan. He's 17. He, he's working with his dad on the weekend. Um, uh, but uh, that's that's what it is. I'll just show you my box too. So we got Sammy's in there, washers in there, nuts. We need the insulated ones. We pretty much got everything in here we need to do, you know, uh, part of our installation. Then over here we got electrical connectors and all that fun stuff that we use. But anyway, I'm gonna make another quick video right after this one. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Please like, subscribe. You know, give us a comment. Smash and hit the bell button. Um, you know, uh, smash and hit everything. I don't know, but don't break your phone. Uh, see you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.